So I want him to win the fight, but I also want white men to win because I want that rematch bad, bad, you know, because that wasn't me in that fight. And, uh, you know, I think you guys saw last night, you know, what really was me, and, and that's why you're gonna see a lot of that as well. Give me extra motivation when I don't want to get up and, and run four and a half, five miles. I'm like, oh shoot! I look in the mirror, I'm like. Oh, here it is. All right, it's time to go. You know, that's extra motivation. I'm, this is with me for the rest of my life. But everybody has scars. Everyone has scars, and it's what you do. It's what you do with those scars that's going to help you motivate and inspire yourself for success in the future. So this is just this is just a reminder for me to do things right. It's a reminder for me to, to change what I did in the past and strive for what's ahead in the future. So you know, that's that's what I'm about, you know. And whether it's a physical scar, whether it's an emotional scar, whether it's you know, whatever it is, you know, because people have scars, but it's what you do with those scars that's gonna help you. When things did start happening with that first round around the um, this Carbouche fight, I think it came, it's all snowballed from there. And I don't think anyone really expected us to end up here this quickly, you know. So to actually be a part of that is something that took me a little bit by surprise. So you didn't think you'd have this opportunity? You didn't think you'd ever have this opportunity in your career? No, I really didn't. I mean, when I first got into mixed martial arts, it was a, it was a, a niche sport that nobody really knew about. Even the UFC was, even wasn't that popular at the time. But nobody, if you talk to people in the street, nobody would know what you're talking about. Um, and, and, I mean, originally, it's something I got into. I was just going to have a couple of fights. It's a personal challenge. It was something I wanted to do to prove to myself I could. You know, I never foresaw myself actually being a professional athlete or, you know, being... Where I am now, so this is it's slightly surreal, um, but uh, very, very cool. Yeah, like you say, it's a more dangerous opponent. There is one I've got to keep. Oh my god, I've been on that switch off for one second. Uh, with this fight, I've got to be fully focused and, and, and just take the fight to you know, uh, not do anything stupid, not overreact to anything, not give away anything. He's one of them opponents. If he sees an opening or a catch yet, he, he goes in for the kill, you know. Uh, very dangerous. He has your head. He has your finish. You know. Um, so I got to. I got to go in there. And I, I got to take the fight to him. I got to show him that he's in my backyard. And he's fighting in my in my country. You know. And, and I'm I'm the, I'm the leader in there. Um, and that's the way the fight's going. Um, I wanted to do a, a new test in my career. You know. I have fought. I have fought with you. almost every guy in my G05, John John, Ryan Bade, Chito, many guys. Then I think. Now it's a, it's a new moment for me, a new moment of my life. Then I decided to drop. So what happens now if Anderson wins the championship in December? Do you go? I mean, I know you, you want to be champion again. What do you do? You go back up to the No, we can we can talk each other. He has, has he, he, he was he, he he been for a long time champion. You know? But we can talk each other. But I don't think about that. I mean, I swear I don't talk about it. <laughs> Why, what would you for sure I want to be champion. Yeah. For sure I want to be champion. But you know, I don't know how many fights I just has yet. Each crowd, uh, they're always going to watch the live events at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. They're always going to be following the fighters, the in-depth stories. They know more about it than any of us. Uh, and you, I include you guys in that in that group. But the, the challenge is that I, I want 500 to a million people watching this sport in this country. And I can't do it if everything's on at three o'clock in the morning so I need the help of a network and I need the help of a network to tell the story of what this sport is all about it's not just about being in the octagon these fighters dedicate their lives to this sport they are committed more than I've worked in professional sport all my life I've never seen such committed athletes to their to their to their to their work than these guys and so I think that people need to know that people need to know what this sport's all about and uh, and, and currently not enough people do. Co-main event against Ross Pearson on Saturday night. We are looking forward to a war in there because you both like to deliver. Oh, I will. I mean, that's, that's the only way I fight. I'm a very 
an aggressive nature person. But outside the ring, I'm very humble and very lovely guy. I have to make sure I clear that up because people think I'm aggressive everywhere I go and I'm not. But uh, when it comes to competing, I've been competing my whole life. I've been doing MMA since I was 14. Uh, I turned pro at the age of 16. So for me, you know, it's uh, you know, I'm a seasoned veteran. You know, I have I have over technically speaking, I have over 140 something fights, you know, under my belt. So I definitely have the ring experience. But Ross is a great fighter. He was actually my pick on Ultimate Fighter. I picked him to win. He's been one of my favorite fighters to watch. He's been one of my favorite fighters to watch. Um, in the UFC since he's gotten in. And uh, I think it's an honor and privilege to be able to fight him in his own, own new country. I think it's going to be an awesome fight. For me, it's sparring. I, just, I, I love sparring. And I think that's why my, my eye is well messed up because I spar so much. You know, I mean, when I'm training for a fight, I, I spar in the mornings and the evenings sometimes, you know, and, and that's what got me into this. I remember when I was eight years old, I went to a Jiu Jitsu club, and at the end of it, we put gloves on, we just had a tear up, and that's what, you know, eight years old, that's what kept me going back week after week. I weren't interested in any other stuff, I just wanted to put the gloves on at the end. So uh, the sparring for me, I love it. But I, but I, you know, I love going to the gym. You know, at the moment I'm there every day, just uh, you know, trying to keep the shape.